how to heal mentally well there's no quick fix and it's going to take as long as it took for you to probably have realized by now that something actually needs to change and that there is some sort of work to do in terms of changing exactly how you think which then subsequently affects how you act and also is generated by feelings which are your guidance system so we work out when we're younger how we can exist and how we can survive and how we have to then show up in the world based on who we're with, our environments and the interactions that we have to have. And what we then do is as a structure, we then have to get into a position whereby we're then working certain structures and systems subconsciously so that they're automatically on autopilot. And because they're automatically on autopilot, the question is, what are we running on autopilot? because this is where the mental healing then comes into play. Because what we're then gonna do is we're gonna go back and have a look at exactly what the if this then that structure is within the way you think, then for act, then feel. So when we look at the actual mental healing side, there is a lot of complexity to it because everything is connected and therefore it's interconnected with everything else. So you will have a polarity structure whereby you have good and bad, but then you have a secondary system, which will then be, you can have good and bad, but what other conditions and what other variables are you switching up and changing based on the fact that different individuals will require different ways of dealing with the actual problem. So you can always have, if I substitute this person for another person, then they expect me to behave a certain way. And because they expect you to then behave a certain way, you have to then put yourself in a position whereby you're acting accordingly, which will then generate a certain feeling because either you're satisfying a need or you're not actually getting to a point whereby you're causing yourself any stress or any problems. So when we have a look at mental healing, and it goes way beyond this, so I'll probably do another video that goes into a bit more of the complexity of it, but we have to go through all of the mental structures and we have to then make sure that all of these mental structures are actually aligned with our way of thinking. And therefore we have to learn things that we've never been exposed to before. And because we've never been exposed to them before, we then have an internal battle that then becomes, well, who am I? What's my identity? Am I challenging that perception of self? And that's then the start. So the question is, if you're actually willing to do the work, how long have you got? Because it is a lifelong journey. And because it is a lifelong journey, you're gonna be doing this probably once you start for the rest of your life. So there's something to think about and I'll obviously give a couple of other videos on the subject matter just to give you a bit more detail. But as always, until next time, trust the process and it's bye for now.